my background is really originally started um, with original production art that was actually used to make the films. So, for example, this is an original uh, cell set up with background that appeared in Mickey's Christmas Carol. And this actually went under the camera in order to make the film. And from there, that is one kind of area uh, of collectible and fine art that has a huge market. But there was always another market, and this other market really drew on the history of, uh, of Disney. And really with today, with uh, the Disney company being such a huge concern, a multi-billion dollar company, um, it's easy to forget that everything really started with a pencil on a blank sheet of paper and the creative geniuses that the animators uh, brought to that. Rough sketches that brought characters to life. Characters not only jumped off the paper, but jumped off the screen into the lives of the, all those uh, watching. These characters were born from the hands of the legendary animators and became loved and valued by children and adults alike. Um, for my part, I was so fortunate to know and meet many of the legends, some of the original nine old men at Disney that worked on Snow White, Dumbo, Pinocchio, men like Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnson, um, and uh, Mark Davis, a creator of Cruella and Tinkerbell, Ward Kimball, who created Jiminy Cricket and Pinocchio, and... Uh, and I was fortunate to know them and, and to be able to meet them and speak to them. And this is an original pencil drawing from uh, Ollie Johnson, who worked on Sir Hiss in uh, Disney's Robin Hood. He uh, personalised that to me. So it was really wonderful to, to meet them. And also, it was amazing the effort and the love that went into what they did. So you could virtually show, I remember talking to Mark Davis about a, a drawing of Maleficent and he could tell you the day he drew it, the fact Walt came in the office, what he said, how he made changes. There was so much care and effort that went in from these guys into the, uh, into the making of the films and the characters. For his part, Walt Disney also always went to leading artists and illustrators of the day. Artists like Mary Blair, Avondale, Arthur Rackham, hugely successful artists in their own right. Even Salvador Dali was entertained to consider on working on, on a Disney film. It, it didn't actually happen in the end. So whilst animation was this cartoon world, Walt always knew that he should draw upon a purely artistic background and was never afraid to approach the very be best artists from around the world. So the company you see today is built upon the magic of these artists and animators and creatives. And then obviously the genius touched it, Walt brought to it himself. Um, so no matter how big the company ever got or gets, we should all remember that it started with a pencil and that blank sheet of paper. All that life had to be created from the mind and breathed into every animation sheet. And when you watch a movie, there's often 24 separate drawings per second of animation. So, uh, Today, as Artland, we try to continue that tradition. We publish interpretive art as fine art limited editions for both Disney and Star Wars. Yet, yet again, we use noted artists of the day to create another world of Disney from the pencil and paint. Each image takes you into a world of the character, either as real life or as a pastiche of what's seen on the screen. And the artist uh, can take a scene from a film and make it as if it was real, as though you can step into a, another world. This is something the studio has always done. It has a tremendous heritage of interpretive art over the decades by its own and outside artists. 
And such is a cultural drive that these characters have had in people's everyday lives. Uh, remember, just about everyone has a favourite Disney film, maybe the first film they ever saw as a child, or a modern-day classic they enjoyed with their children. We, you, all appeal to that emotion. So we have taken our art uh, by our own interpretive artists, and we've placed it on selected high-quality products. Uh, the quality is important. You love these characters, you're emotionally connected to them. So it's important that the products are first class and delivered in a way that keeps that magic alive. Whilst there's an obvious place for style guide driven art, the interpretive art allows another place to be accessed. The dream to be a little more personal. It continues with the Disney legacy of bringing their art right into the hands of the enthusiast to collect and to own something unique. Disneyana is a world of its own, unparalleled by any other studio. The loyalty of Disney collectors is legendary, and we're always aware that we are creating the collectibles and memories of tomorrow. Thank you very much.